You can torture us. But you'll never defeat our spirit. And cut. That was amazing. For the longest time on Dead by Daylight, we knew that we wanted to offer different types of experience to our players. And a single player narrative experience is definitely one of them. And our fans have been requesting it quite a lot. So obviously, super massive games with their pedigree, their portfolio of game, is the perfect partner to deliver that fantastic horror experience. The origins of the game stem from behavior looking to expand the omniverse of Dead by Daylight. They approached Supermassive because of our expertise in storytelling. Narrative is incredibly important to us. It's at the core of all that we do while we are making games. We are also telling stories and delivering a player experience like no one else. So it felt like a really good match. Come on, people. We got a movie to make. The casting of Frank Stone is a classic Supermassive cinematic adventure game. Wait, I'm coming with you. It's an unashamed horror experience. It's a story that we've been thinking around for quite a long time and it really fits the omniverse idea that underpins a lot of the Dead by Daylight lore and so it kind of slipped together as a very natural fit. It all starts with our 1963 storyline which is investigation of a missing child which leads us into a very dark quite grisly serial killer horror story but as the story unfolds from there things go in different directions and we bring in a lot of different subgenres of horror. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? The main influences were always to try to be domestic, something you could actually believe happens, something that you can understand, relate to, at the same time part of it you don't understand and it creates a, a, a mystery. We're always going back to the classic slasher horror movies and characters that we learn to love and hate uh, at the same time. What? One thing we really latched onto quickly was the idea of how a piece of creative art could become a vehicle for horror. And in our case, that's a Super 8 film that's being made by a group of teenage characters on the site of an infamous serial killer's crimes. Perfect. And that felt like a vehicle where we could bring in other influences of horror that we really like. Either of you heard of Murder Mail? Right at the start of the project, talking with Supermassive, we connected because we're passionate about horror and we basically get our inspiration from the same sources. So it was great talking with them and seeing that a lot of the sources for inspiration they're using have been the same that we've been looking into at the genesis of Dead by Daylight. So in that sense, our fans and also new players that will experience this can see that both titles are from the same lineage. So for fans of supermassive games that still haven't stepped into the fog of Dead by Daylight, this is going to be a great first step. The audience is always part of who you're designing for. Take a look. You imagine the audience, you imagine the person you're writing for. So we kind of imagine the person we're making the game for. And we think about the things that might interest them and the things they'd like to have stories told about. And then we think about really cool, nasty situations. And we see if we can mash those together. And the story emerges, the characters emerge. You start writing it and it'll be like, ooh, that's interesting. Oh, I never thought that character would do that. Well, okay, are we just going to stand around or are we going to make a movie? In creating the casting of Frank Stone, building its story, building the characters, we're really, really mindful of Dead by Daylight fans. We know they've got a really, really dedicated fan base. There's lots of people within Supermassive Games who are dedicated Dead by Daylight fans. We wanted to do something that explores that story universe that Behaviour have created and gives players a chance to explore it in a new way outside of Dead by Daylight itself. <laughs> Also, obviously, we want to take people who've enjoyed supermassive games, who enjoy branching adventure games. We want to do something that's really, really cool and that they find engaging, where they can fall in love with the characters, where they can grow to loathe some of the characters and get them killed. The choice is theirs. Gothic. I like it. The casting of Frank Stone has been crafted to be a standalone story in the Dead by Daylight universe. So anyone that's looking for a great horror experience that taps into human darkness will have a lot of fun with it. Of course, if you're a Dead by Daylight fan and if you're lore savvy about Dead by Daylight, then there's going to be a lot of 
little secrets and surprises for you. I'm glad to see you're all having fun. But if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to take it outside. <laughs> <laughs>